Hey everyone, Andre here from SWL. I just want to show you something else that's interesting that I've picked up on my XH Data D109. And now that I've received the new one, the replacement version, I've tested it and it's giving me the same issue. I've picked up various spurious signals between about 1700 and 2500 kilohertz particularly around 2245 kilohertz. And so I tested it now again on this new one, and it does exactly the same. These two, new one, old one, pick up exactly the same spurious signals and just a bunch of really weird signals. So I don't know, it seems to me like it must be some kind of a firmware issue. I'm just gonna demonstrate to you a couple of the signals now, but there's a whole bunch that are coming through now between about 1700 and 1900 kilohertz. So let's have a look. This is the new one. One seven eleven kilohertz. Old one. One seven eleven kilo kilohertz, the same signal, and let's see. One seven thirty kilohertz. Let's have a look at the old one. Definitely, yeah. It's got that 1730, but there's something else also in the background. So that's the same signal, and there are more. New one. One seven five five. That sounds like one of the China Radio International signals. So keep in mind, this was the new one, and here is the old one. Also there, but weaker this time on this one. So let's. There's just more and more of these signals. It just keeps going until about up to about 2,400 kilohertz. So I'm not going to do all of them. I'm going to do one more. So we're back to the new one. One seven five eight. Also present with that same whistling disturbance interference. Yeah, and as I say, I've, I've just scrolled through these frequencies a little while earlier and the, the, it just keeps going. It just keeps getting all these spurious signals between 1700 and about 2400. So that's a bit weird. I just did a comparison also on the D808. It picks up one or two of these signals also, but not as many as these two, as these two sets pick up. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I'm guessing it's maybe a firmware issue or something. So, yeah, that's probably one of the flaws with this little radio. Apart from that, yeah, as you know, I've, I've used it, I've tested it a bit. It does really, really well. I like this radio. But, um, yeah, it's just weird what's going on here between 1,700 and 2,400 kilohertz. Anyway, until next time.